My name is Rebecca Scarborough. I am a second year industrial design major and I am sophomore rep for Georgia Tech's chapter of Industrial Designers Society of America. Pumpkin Ramble, it actually started off as an assignment that freshmen would have um, during like fall time. They would sort of carve a pumpkin in the style of a famous industrial designer or something like that. And then that got taken out of the curriculum and it involved um, into what we have here now, which is pretty much our most popular event. Um, students come, they carve pumpkins as a competition, and since we're being ID majors, of course, you know, creativity and competition is something we love, and that's how it got started. I think the best part with Jacqueline, I mean, you could go kind of two routes. You could do super like artistic and have it look amazing with like perfect lines and everything, or you could just kind of make something that's kind of funny. Nothing that you would like expect to be Jacqueline, but just looks kind of fun. Industrial design students are perfect for carving pumpkins because in order to carve a pumpkin requires artistic thinking, creativity, craftsmanship, and a knowledge of materials. And carving a pumpkin requires requires all of that, right? It requires some creative thinking to come up with an idea, it requires some artistry in order to bring that idea to uh, uh, to life. You got to understand the, the pumpkin itself as a material manufacturer. So you got to cut it, you got to carve it. All of these skills are things that only industrial designers have. What I think makes a good jack o' lantern from the ID point of view is probably just like, for me personally, really laying out the pumpkin and knowing what you want to put on there because there's so much that can go wrong when you carve a pumpkin. I think this cut skill is kind of crucial to be a designer. I think it's a very good activity.